Hello everybody, Darren here and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now in the last episode it was quite chaotic. I was trying to figure out where I was bleeding money from after the war with Arthur. We were like negative 250k per minute, just absolutely hemorrhaging money. And I was trying to understand trade routes that I'd made probably like six months ago now. So it's quite a tricky thing to get everything back up to speed, even with the little bit of prep I do before episodes. However, even with all of that confusion, I did manage to get our money back into the black. We're making positive 150k right now, and we've got a kind of a fluctuating population of 110,000 or thereabouts. Now, we should be able to get this back up to, I think, roughly 150,000 to say that we're finally all caught up and recovered from the war. And that's the plan. So, speaking of plans, I've actually got more of a plan today, and I've also let a little bit of time play between episodes in order to produce some ships so we can just start creating fresh trade routes and get the ball rolling. So let's begin. Also got a little notepad with me just to remember where I need to be focusing because the game is so expansive right now. It's, you know, it's hard to get everything straight. One other thing just worth mentioning, I let go of a few islands, hoping that maybe something will encourage Venti to go out and um, maybe recapture them. But if I really need them, I'm sure we could either buy them off her or just settle them again ourselves if she doesn't. So you might notice just there's a few islands that are now blank again. And that's just because I'm letting them go. Hopefully, Benti can be encouraged to go out and get them. Um, I also did my escort quest with her. So I'm hoping that perhaps she can start making a ship. She still hasn't. Oh, yes, kind of worried about you. her. We'll I do notice that she actually lands. requires Seems cotton so now. Maybe she needs it to make ships, possibly. So let's just really quickly do a quick run. We'll bring her over some cotton and anything else she needs. And protect Benti at all costs. We'll just make it, I don't know, it's just kind of nice. We'll fulfill that one thing. Maybe that'll help her, maybe not. Even so, we'll then get onto the regular gameplay. So let's just load up on cotton. She needed 50, I think. So we'll just take 50. Let's see what else she needs. Maybe we can make a delivery of multiple things. So it's cotton, 50 schnapps, and 50 coffee beans. Hmm. Do we have coffee beans here? I doubt it. No. And then schnapps, I don't think so either. All right. She has all the other little things she wants, but we'll just bring her this. It's kind of more important. We'll toggle on the notification bell. All right, so where we're going to be building. In Embesa, during the war, we actually lost an island. I lost this island here. And it was actually an island that did something and produced something. So it's knocked my economy a little bit. So this island, I think, was producing indigo and clay and sending it over to Tabarin. Now, other islands were also interfacing with that. And the great thing is you can just go into the trade routes I've obviously organized it by session, so this session is in Besa. There's three routes here, and we can see they all have problems. They either have ships, which is good, but the island doesn't exist anymore. So it's just a, a route with one island, but I can see what it was doing. So it was obviously unloading chilies and unloading indigo. Then we have finery and tea, which is coming from the island of Rock Lobster. You know, so we can kind of piece together what these things were doing. But ultimately, I'm just going to draw some fresh trade routes as now we have more ships and things like that. But what I know is that we need to actually be on this island and start harvesting some indigo. Now, there's indigo on this island too. And then this island is bird's eye with the chilies. Hmm. Just trying to think, maybe we should go for the bigger one. That would shake it up a bit, seeing as it's new for us. Although I say it's bigger, it does have a massive lake in the middle. But I think that'd probably be fun. So let's start building here. Tabarim is just over there. That's where we were before. Yeah, let's we'll just shake it up. Something a bit different. So let's just start off with... Um, I just realized there's no workforce or anything here. What's up with that? Isn't it supposed to just tell me that there's 200? Maybe you don't get that in the Invesa. I didn't know that. All right, well, let's start building. Uh, let's see. So we're going to need a market. And I'm just trying to think, where should we place this? Kind of keep it coastal, I guess. And then let the farms go a little further in towards the irrigated areas. If that makes sense. All right, let's do it about here then. Ah, okay, we're going to need construction material. So let's obviously load up a few ships with all the material that we'll need, and then we can get building. It feels good, man. feels good to be back. It's like now we can actually just play the game again. <laughs> all right, so lots of construction material here, so it's not really a big issue. Whoops. You just load up with all wood and head down there, and you load up with all mud. Surprisingly, you're not making any more of that. Oh, I think it's because we're out of clay. So let's hop over to Benti really quickly and just get that job done. So she has the cotton. There you go. Does that make you happy? She actually wants some more immediately. 
And then she still wants the coffee beans. We could deliver the coffee beans as well. Why not? All right, just hop back here for a sec. So, why do we need indigo? And now we can see actually what's on the buildings. So, introduce our new colleague. The reason we need indigo is basically to make tapestries. We mix that with linen. So we're out of indigo. It means we're not making tapestries, which means these guys, the elders, don't have their tapestries, but also the old world doesn't have it either. Uh, they're also lacking clay, so they're not making their pipes. And that actually means that we're really lacking a workforce right now, because I've got a lot of the buildings turned off to get that workforce just positive again. So we want to restore this place again to its former glory, make sure it's working all correctly. Make do with what so, I have. they're out of chilies. The good news is we do make chilies and they're made here, but I'm going to wait until we get this place up and running and then I can kind of figure out a better trade route situation. So, there we go. Now, I kind of don't remember how mud bricks are made. Yeah, I actually have no... I feel like they're made at a, a water pump river crossing area, but do I not make them here? It looks like I don't. That's kind of strange, isn't it? I'm not seeing it. Uh, I guess what we could do is just head down here, click this. A brick dry house. Oh, okay, we do. So you get the clay from the river, I see, and then the brick dry house is here. So the dry house is actually offline right now because it doesn't have any clay and it has loads of taff. I got it, okay. Just been a while, but easy to figure that one out. Okay, well, anyways, let's get building here. So let's just transfer over our stuff. And they're gonna need some extra storage. Let's get some depots up and running. And we can move these a bit later. I'll try to build a bit more purposefully as well where I don't need to be just redoing everything. But the docks is okay to do that with, I think, for now. Alright, so let's build the market. Looking nice. Don't know how many people we're going to need to get all this done. Ultimately, we would want to give them oil and then really squeeze the indigo out of this place for anything it's ever needed. Maybe we won't need oil too badly, but it'd be nice to be able to achieve that if we did. Uh, so, let's go with, obviously, some houses. Maybe we can tuck them right in here, towards the edge, a bit. Just chaotically intersperse them around to make it look a bit more organic. It's been a while since we've done house building, actually. It feels good. Uh, yeah, you can actually move over. Just give you another block there, so it's sort of like an insider little block. Bring it out from the mountain so that we can leave a little space between them. Makes it look a bit nicer. So, do we need more than that? I mean, maybe. I don't know. A couple extra. Then we can place some houses and things. Or, I'm um, sorry, tr trees and things. These are houses. Uh, yeah, we'll get the market down to about here. And let's just do a very temporary road right now. Hook all this up with roads. I'm just... I am conscious that I'm leaving this airship here. Now, I'm actually making another airship. Another big fat one. Uh, no, I'm not actually. We're out of helium. Oh, it got made. Oh, that's why. Okay. Bit of time has passed, I guess. We'll have to deliver some helium over here. Keep those ships getting made. Uh, so she wanted 50 of that. So let's just bring that straight over. I wonder as well, can you deliver fertilizer into Embesa? I suppose you probably could. And I don't know if you get a byproduct by... Oh, no, you can't electrify those farms. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, so let's see. They needed helium. Uh, we can make a run for the helium got two big airships here now. Just move them both here. I'll try to get one more made if we can. We're just lacking a little bit of helium. Uh, so I'll just wait for you to get there, and then we'll come back and have a look. Alright, let's hop back over. Alrighty, so, a nice road. So I'm just trying to think, if that's going to be a little block in here, we can just bring this out, curve the road here around it. Is that the way I'd want to do it? No, I feel like the inside block would have a road, and these ones would be the ones that just have like a little dirt road going onto it, yeah. Something like that. Alright, we'll just leave it like this and we'll see if I've missed anything. Alright, we have our first few shepherds. So they need their market. Just out of curiosity, how far will this be from you guys? Probably, I'm assuming, too far. Maybe not if we've got a mud road though, right? So let's get that mud road down. you think that this would be the mud road. What is this called? Paved street. Yeah, okay, sorry. It's just it uses mud bricks. My bad. So something like that, and that should give full reach. We'll just wait for it to come up. It's hard to tell, but I think it's full reach. Uh, maybe not. It gets pretty faint. 
in the distance. Uh, okay, I'll bring this down a bit cl closer. I think it does need to come down closer. Just pave this bit as well. Pave to right about there. I'm just going to cut this road and we can add on a couple extra blocks. Something like that. And we can tidy it up to make it look a bit nicer later. Yeah, looking good. Room for amenities and little extras. Okay, so you have your market. You're growing nicely, so they're going to need goat farms. Man, this is so fun. I haven't played Anno in a while, like, where you're just actually playing from the beginning. <laughs> um, people have been asking me, you know, are you going to start a new playthrough or anything? I think I've said before, I probably will stream. I'm waiting on some art assets to be made for different things, not just for Anno, but for different things for streaming. So I'll probably stream on YouTube and let people know once I can get a, a good schedule going. Because I feel like if I did a series, I genuinely feel like it just would not be that different. Whereas I do feel like it'll be fairly different if I do stream it. Uh, and the videos will stay up anyway for those who can't make the actual live streams as well. So shouldn't be a big deal. Alright, so that's going to be our goat farms. I can teach you how to Keep it local for now. So a silo. Stores teff grass as fodder. Do we have teff grass on this island? We do. Yeah. Give me some of that then. And to make it look a bit nicer, we can have a road that goes in around the back. It's like Clarkson's farm. Alright, let's just leave it really basic right now. We'll scale it if we need to. So what else do they need after that? So we need 300 in order to get the dried meat. But of course, we're only doing this so we can just get the indigo up and running. And then we'll have to figure out the canals to do so. So this will be a water pump. One of these is going to be a water pump around here. Probably this one, actually. Because then this is a nice big patch right next to the lake. We can make this all indigo. How thrilling! A renowned personage has arrived. So it's four on either side, if I remember correctly. So just trying to think, we want to bring it down a bit here. Uh, yeah, I'll take Wilma. Thank you. About there, I think. And over to here. I don't mind being a little wasteful. These are all ex big, really extra islands that are not going to be too bad. Uh, not put too much of a strain on the economy, you know. We have infinite space now in Mbesa, basically, with all the big islands. Alright, cool. So what's your problem? You're missing goods, you're missing that teff grass. Maybe we could get started with that just really quickly. So, um, let's go... Okay, I guess I will have to build this out actually further. like that and how much does this have it's got 265 capacity that's pretty good yes yeah, I think this section across the river can be tough that'll probably work a little bit nicer so how much space do we have on this left now oh we haven't even used half of it wow Alright, good. So one, two, three, four, and then there. Bring that down. Just to about there. Then we'll have to figure out the spacing then to actually get the farms in here. Cool. Nice. Nice and fertile. Irrigated. Looking good. Uh, I suppose there's still a decent amount of space up here we could try to use. Don't know if it's too crazy to curve that out. It can often block you in doing it, but I'm willing to try it. Let's go a bit further up about there. No, we can go all the way. Let's go all the way. One, two, three, four, and in. All right, cool. Yep, yeah, so that can be our TEF area, and then everything else can be indigo, and we'll try to extend it out or add to it with the other one later on down the line. So how much, how much do we have left now? Got about 60 modules to left everyone. to go, so plenty. Denti, what are you giving me a gift for? I should be giving you a gift. What is there you go, 12,000. <laughs> um, yeah, let's give her the coffee beans that we have. I don't know if she still needs them. Yeah, she does. Oh, she needs 40 cotton again. We can make that run again, but I want to go pick up the helium. 
All right. All right, back to Mbesa. So, how are these guys doing? They're empty now, right? Pretty much. So you guys can head back to Tavarine, pick up any extra construction material. Meanwhile, just to double check, we should be making ships all the time back here. Loads of world-class reefers to go between sessions, and then lots of cargo ships to stay local to their session. Uh, so we're we still making some here. Let's keep it going. These ones do cost materials, whereas these ones don't because of the building effects that we have. All right, looking good. Oh, by the way, I meant to mention, just in the Arctic, if you're watching the last episode, so the situation is now that we have the ice tea ship delivering eight goods. I'd said that they were eight in the last episode, but they're actually seven. So I just added on canned goods, which is the final thing. And now that a bit of time has passed, the pemmican is making its way around the island. So that was just um, taking a while, and I was a bit confused by that. But it seems to be working now. Um, so we're still waiting on the third, the, yeah, the second glacier to get its stuff. Um, also, just for ease in the menus, when I was looking at things, I was super confused by what island was what. So now I've just like named them unclaimed one, two, three, and glacier one and two, the ones that are empty. Just so I can see at a glance, like what are the ones I'm actually on and that I care about. Etc. Because I was so confused. We had so many islands. That's why I had to unload some. It was just too overbearing in the menus. Uh, for me, at least. To kind of read on the fly. Alright, so population-wise, how are we doing? 116 shepherds. Uh, so we don't have the finery yet. Goat's milk. So we really need to just spam these guys a bit more and get them upgraded. Because we're going to deliver finery in here, right? So uh, that'll be the goal. So let's um, cut all of these trade routes off, right? So let's say you're done. I'll leave these routes there just so I know what they were. You're done as well. And you're done. So, let's have a look in a base. Just toggle on island, all islands, it doesn't really matter. And see what the deal is with finery. So, finery, we produce up to 10. And we currently consume 7. So, if you want to see where it's been made, it's been made on both Rock Lobster and Tabarine. Tabarine were the ones that are making the most. Rock Lobster is just stalled though, I guess. So, it seems like they are making a bit that aren't going around. Okay. I suppose they're sorting out themselves, but also, let's see, yeah, they've got twice as much as they need. Okay. Alright, so let's set up a really, really simple route, just to begin. Trade route, uh, just finery. So, Rock Lobster, Tabarim, and Helix of Saffron, which is where we are now, we need to rename that. I'll just pick up the finery. I'll have one ship dedicated to that, because it'll probably supply multiple islands in the future. There it is, and we'll just, yep, spec it out. Now maybe we could split it to do something else, but we don't really need to when influence is basically infinite now. So we'll call this Finery Supply. We'll assign it to the group to keep it in Embesa, and we'll just give it a ship. I'll just hit accept, because I'm not sure what ships are down here right now. Can I see, actually? Tabarim Express. That's a cool name for a ship. Let's give it that one. Oh my god. You can actually search by session. You can. That's good. Uh, Embase's finest. Ah, right. Finery. Great. Genius. So we'll accept that one. And then just take what it has and try to just dump it into Tabarine and then let the trade route play. So, yeah. Just let me... I'll, I can't put a notification on that, but as soon as it gets there, I guess we'll have a look then. All right. So this island... It's going to be making Indigo. Hmm. Indiegogo, but I'll probably change the name. I need to think. And then it's going to be making or needing Tef grass. We've got to specialize these islands. So maybe this one could be Indigo and Tef. Although I think we make a lot of Tef here, if I'm not mistaken. At Tabarim itself. So that's Linseed. Uh, Tef? We have five on the island, and it's maxed out. So yeah, that seems like it's, it's basically good to go as well. So we'll make another route, delivering Tef grass to our different islands so that they can supply the different silos. So we'll just start from Tabarim to Indiegogo. Uh, we'll click Tefgrass and just max that out. Unload, assign a ship, any ship that's here that's not doing anything. Tabarim Express. So we'll click Embesa and that's the way we can just see what's here. All right, accept that one. Didn't name it, so that's my bad. So Tefgrass Supply. And this will be Embesa. Hit accept. And then we just have to click into it and just offload that stuff as well. Alright, so we've given the lobsters into Tabarine for a while. Is there other ship here? Hi. Almost. Let's just speed it up. Get it here. 
unload that stuff, and then we're good to go. Alright, I can throw over. Alright, continue your route. So it'll do its thing now. It'll take a little while, but it'll eventually get here, or here rather, and give everyone what they need. So thinking about it, I didn't actually just realize Bird's Eye needs this stuff too. So finery supply can go to down here. Maybe go to Bird's Eye first. So how are we doing? So we can see every island storage now. So they have zero finery. Tab room's fine. No pun intended. So yeah, it's going to have to make a delivery to both of these. That's okay. Alright, cool. So it's going to be a little trickle-down effect, but it'll eventually get here. Um, but ultimately, we do need more people. So let's just spam a few more buildings. I'll push that in a bit. Okay, they should all be able to be reached. Uh, I suppose, just while we have a little workforce here, we could start them off with a bit of Wanza wood and get them cutting. Maybe just deliver it straight to the uh, warehouse. And they get this without having to refine it, which is nice. That just prevents me having to do multiple runs with that stuff. I don't even think we'll need this, but we'll just do it anyway. And then they need a warehouse. So that's just more goat farms, goat's milk. Excellent. Looks really good. Okay. And then we'll just give it a, a warehouse here next to the market. Actually looks quite nice having that next to each other. Interestingly, there's ornaments here. I'm confused. Has the game changed? No, there is the beautification menu for the other places, but Embesa, I guess, just has it down here. Okay, interesting. So just for now, just give that sand, and then I'll know, like, that's reserved ornament area. And then maybe a little fence to go between them. And then I'm guessing people will walk through this part. So we can build a little double door fence there, and just get that built. All right, looking great already. Little harsh edges here. Maybe we could be so daring as to rotate. And that way she blends. Alright, all good. Uh, okay, so what else could we have? A shed? A way camp? We can do something a bit bigger, I think. Shelter, seeing as we're close to the market. I feel like people would camp just outside the market to sell their things or to do whatever they do. Maybe a well right there, and then campfire you reach yeah, looks good a to me. new milestone boom haven't heard that in a while sounds good uh, so we could get a tree right there 20 ounces of bourbon and as many loaves we are celebrating Banahu's betrothal tonight a little bit of storage there don't forget to just always add in some sand it can look weird if you've got things everywhere all the time securing their expertise it can sometimes look weird having grass next to sand I guess but whatever what can you do about that I suppose walls and things, but it's all good. Uh, then we want to blend the road a bit, just to make it look like they made the effort, but it just got, you know, sand eroded it over time. Alright, so let's add in a few trees in these little one tile spots. It's usually a good fit for those. Alright, maybe another little way camp here. Although it's quite big, I think probably something else. Let's go again with... Is this really all the ornaments? It's nice that there are ornaments, but yeah, that must be it. Hmm. I thought there was another one that's like a 4x4. Four four, or sorry, a 2x2. Two two. Is this it? Oh, the way camp. Sorry, that's what I called it. Yeah, but it's not actually that. Okay, cool. Uh, junipers. Let's get some junipers there and there. Now, their entrance... I think I will invite them to the dance. ...needs to be rotated so they can, people can actually walk in from the dirt road. So that's fine. They can walk in from the dirt road as well. Yeah. Would it look better if it was paved right outside the house? No. It's wonderful. All right, cool. Uh, so we actually, we, yeah, actually, oh yeah, we do. I was going to say we didn't, we weren't able to place our own trees, but we can. So we can try to just place some trees here as well. They can be quite big. 
I'm flicking, but it's not doing it. There we go. Yeah, I think you have to drag and click, but it's just not doing it for some reason. Even when it's highlighted green, like I'm clicking, 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 spam click. Yep. Doesn't seem to want to do it. Maybe smaller trees? No, same with that one. Okay. That doesn't need to be there. We can just collapse that in. We'll bring this down a bit and we'll make a little uh, fence between the two. All right, cool. And I forgot to do that. All right, how are we looking now? So we're up to 75. Our guys are looking a little bit better. The finery still has not yet arrived. It's going to be unloaded into that island first before it kind of gets backfilled here. So they've got 298, so pretty good. But not... not 100% of where we need to be just yet. Alright, so let's get another house there. It's fine. Yeah, we'll have to leave it there, I think. It's probably good enough. Get a fence that just goes around here to separate it from the village, and then we could just have little doors or little road cuts to cut in. Maybe this one could be joined. Eh, it looks okay. Uh, then we can get a fence edge. And rotate. So fence edge is number two, and then just rotate it around. Good. So they have their road. These guys do not have a road. Don't like death stalker scorpions? You might want a road. I don't want death stalker scorpions, no. Uh, call me call me old-fashioned, but no, not a big fan of those. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Leave it there, I guess. And um, yeah, maybe this area here would then be like docks and things. Yeah, looks nice. Our little village. Oh no, there's a house ruined already. All right, cool. Any little extra bits of ornaments if we could try to put them down a little quicker. So a shed outside the back of this house looks good. Maybe a water trough there. Some sand. Anything else that just needs sand? I could do it just being sand, really. They've already got a well at the house there, so I feel like that's not needed. A little tent. In case you need a break from the sh no. uh, sh little shelter. I right, don't want too many of those, and then maybe one Asia. Or, what is it? A Acacia? And stone pines. These ones are really great for shelter, I feel like, so they can look quite good, but they grow to be really huge. Alright, too many transporters, really, with just two farms going. Oh, have they got their Tef grass? They have, so Tef grass has arrived. Tef grass is super full right now, excellent. Good to see. And there we go, so that's one little thing done. Indiegogo. Now, We've irrigated the soil all out this way, but we've yet to actually build what this place is purpose-built for, which is the indigo. So let's get going, get the ball rolling on that. So indigo. So I said I'd keep the indigo somewhere out about here. And maybe tuck it, I don't know, right around there to see how this, this does for our first one. Another one there, maybe. So 144 modules. Wow, so we can really fit actually quite a lot in. Hmm. So that left side will be used by one building. Yeah. I think I'll just have to erode some more of this space than I'm probably comfortable with. And then we'll grab a warehouse, stick it down somewhere up here as well. So I'll just grab these two, move them over a bit. And get deafened in the process. Hook up the road like that for now. Alright, so warehouse down first. So we've got four of these. So let's start with this farm can just begin here. Now, do these need... What do they need? Do they need, like, any extra thing? They can have the tractor barn and the fertilizer silo. Fertilizer. Boost farm efficiency. Tractor barn. Increases cultivation area and productivity while reducing the workforce requirement. 
And this is for indigo. Yeah. Hmm. I just don't know if I, how much indigo do I need, really. Uh, apparently we only need two tons, and I'm already producing six. I don't know how that's even possible. How am I producing that many? Six. So bird's eye. Oh my god. We already have loads here. I could have sworn that this was needed from this island. What did this island even do then? I know it made clay. Oh my god, this whole thing is pointless. Oh, it's not totally pointless. We can do something else with it, but we don't need indigo. But obviously we could do something else with it. So I'll just get rid of that. Good thing I caught it. <laughs> so silly, because I, I was checking and I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure the trade route said it was... I mean, we could check. It was unloading indigo and chilies. That must have been coming from bird's eye, but why would that have stopped? Bird's eye never... We never lost bird's eye. I don't know. But okay, let's just get the ball rolling with that again. We don't even need to change this. So bird's eye to here. Load indigo. And then load, load your chilies, I guess. So that's up and running again, just like that. So we'll just put a ship on this. Uh, let's just select Embesa. And uh, yeah, Tabarim Express. Let's go. So this is going to be indigo and chili. All right, just back and forth between those two islands, because that's the only island that consumes it. So the finery supply is now working. Cannot unload. and un Insufficient storage. That's fine. A tabarine. That's okay. Bird's eye is okay. That's okay. So all that finery is done. Finery is totally fine. <laughs> and the chilies are done. So now there'll be things that leave this place. Finery and tea. So hibiscus tea, tapestries... So why were tapestries being loaded here? I don't know. Because there's no need for tapestries unless you have elders. And there's no elders here. So what does this island make? This island basically makes, in terms of consumer goods, dried meat, finery, goat's milk, and hibiscus tea consumption. And they make lobster. They make an eight lobster, and everything else is balanced. So this place just needs a route to take the lobster back into Tabarim. So we'll just make a new trade route. Trade route from Rock Lobster into Tabarim. Uh, just loading lobster, I guess. Is it a... Yeah, there it is. And we'll just get another ship to do that. Select Embesa. We've got the Wild Swan. Lobster Supply. All right, good. So that's that done. All right, so we can get rid of... Oh, tasty stuff. Where did honey come from? Tab it was dropped at ta tab So honey... Oh, honey is made at the Bird's Eye Chili Island. Hmm, tasty stuff. So I can see this thing was doing both. Ah, we could just have a specific route for it. I don't think we need to divide up the routes because it just complicates things right now without needing to. So again, one. I mean, it's a lot for one ship just to be carrying back and forth here. Maybe actually... This is such a short route that I'm kind of thinking that we could have just snipped off that bit, snipped off this bit, and added the honey on. I think I'd rather do that. Not that we like, have to, but it's such a short route that I feel like it makes sense to do it. If this is producing these things, might as well just have it all on the one ship, and they're all heading to the same place anyway. So we'll hit accept on that one. So basically, instead of just indigo and chilies, now it's indigo, chili, and beeswax so this is bird's eye to tab room doesn't really explain anything I guess it's just I don't know agri well that's what it was called before yeah it's just agriculture agri import into tab room okay cool so let's select the ship and just yeah make sure it's gotten rid of everything pause it unpause it let it get back on its route and do its thing uh, so, what would be nice, actually, is to have a few extra piers. Maybe we should have piers in here now. 30 m clay... Oh, yeah, we need clay. So, clay is the other thing. So, clay, we could actually shift over to this island, then. Seeing as we've taken it from the other one, not using it. Or both. I don't mind doing both. We could just restore this as the clay grower island. 
So let's do that then. So where's the thing? Oh, it's actually facing out there. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right, so clay it is. So this is what the place used to do. So we'll just get this built again. This is going to be a lot quicker now. So let's go marketplace. Oh, it's got no material. God damn. So I'm going to have to send maybe one or two more ships down here. So we'll just grab you and you. And you can just go to Mbesa, go to Tabarine. And it seems, it seems like we have some ships <laughs> loaded with dynamite. There we go. Bring Anyone else? Nope, that's good. All right, cool. Looking good. Ooh, very intense music. All right, so we're going to build on Utopia. Uh, I can't remember what I called this before. But for now, it's just going to be Clay Supplier. <laughs> but we will rename these islands to be a bit more on theme. Alright, so construction material. We'll take the wood. And that should be everything we need, really. We don't need clay. But while we're here, we can just start blueprinting. So let's just stick it in right there. Get a little road to bring us up to it. Should we turn sideways, maybe? houses tucked in here. Try to break it up a little bit just to make it look a somewhat more organic. Alright, this can just go there and there. Connect up the little side streets. Not that they need it, but it can just look a little bit better that way. Target has no space. Let's get some depots going then. Only I'm reporting in. Alrighty. So that's going to take 25 workers each. 35, okay. So that's basically our target. I don't think we really need. Whoa, the elephants just appeared and then disappeared. I don't think we need much more than that. There could be clay over there if we really wanted to get everything out of here. So, which I guess would be good. So, clay is just at one right now. So, what is needed in total? Well, we've turned the building off actually. So, let me just turn that building back on and then we can kind of see what's needed in terms of clay. Where is the boy? Lazy northerner. All right. So, they're back online now. They're back online. This ah, is also back online. Last. So, they're obviously needing indigo, which is on the island again. Papyrus is on the island. Sorry, linen. Clay is not. Tobacco is. Okay. So it's going to be setting up clay from this island to the other one. Something like that. We've got the warehouse in the middle. Really basic. Quite simple. This one does not have road access, the one at the back there. All right, let's try this. So they'll need their goat farms as well. We can kind of have it in the town, like why not? Oh yeah, and you get more if they're irrigated, right? So let's do that. we can push it further out then towards the water. There, that looks nice. Quite natural. I'll just extend... I'm just giving a little bit more space for a couple extra houses here just to make it look a bit nicer. Right there around the farms. Alright, cool. They should feed into that warehouse, no problemo. Um, they've got room for a silo as well if they really wanted it. And you don't need to have the silos... If I'm right, you don't need to have them on the thing anymore, like... Uh, touching the actual main building. I don't know if that's true or not. No, it seems like it is. You can have it here, even. Yeah, so again, we could maybe get a bit more creative with this. Um, hmm. 
I could just create a space of two. We could fit it in right next to it. Can this move over one? Oh, it can't. It almost could, but it can't. Do there. It could be there. And then, yeah. No, it doesn't need to connect, but this could be kind of nice. What's, what do you need? Mud bricks. Um, okay. Let's get rid of that. Bring this over. And that way it would connect between the roads. It would also look a bit better. So, those final bits of mud bricks would be nice to bring. And then we'll change the Tef grass route so that it actually goes here as well to deliver that stuff in. It's quite overkill, but I'm happy to do it. <laughs> just for the one thing. Just for the sake of having this thing get its, uh, its silo in place. Alright, so some ornaments. Again, let's do a tree right on that gap. That's going to have the silo. Maybe we could have a well. Although there seems to be a lot, so we'll just do this. And then we'll do two tents outside the um, market. I don't trade in Long Beach. Go bother someone else. Okay. Once the mud bricks arrive, we don't have many, but it should be enough just to get that thing done. Let's go back now. I can't actually remember what I was doing in the New World. I was definitely doing something. Oh, picking up helium. That's what it was. This was ages ago. Let's just make a full delivery of helium over this way. Cool. How's Benty doing? Do we see any ships yet? I don't see any yet. Still no building going on here that I can see. She's demanding 50 cotton yet again. Oh, this big thick boy. Can fly over, just pick up a ton of cotton and just sit over Benty and drop it in there. <laughs> Maybe we should do some drop runs and just literally drop supplies on her so that she can prosper. Uh, so, agriculture. Let's look for cotton. Raw cotton, please. There we go. And we'll drop it down here. 400 cotton. Sorry, not there. Here. I'm going to fly over with a massive airship and just sell her all the cotton she needs. Hopefully she can turn it into sales. There are runes in your cities. We're in the presence of that was the only rune, so that's okay. It's not too bad. That's a problem for another day, Cape Trelawney. Today, we're all focused on Embesa. Uh, but things are looking good. The work uh, workforce is getting back to where it needs to be. And then we just need to check on clay and see the entire region. Are we delivering enough? So we're actually just not. Slightly. We're almost there. So we do have to set up the other river, I think, and just get ourselves up to that level. So clay collector... That way we're specializing the island to do just this one thing. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Alright, cool. And then we'll just put down a little warehouse out here. And that's them sorted on the right side. Maybe just to make this look somewhat better. We could tuck it in this way. And maybe we can put some trees down again. Even just loosely. Sparse. Sparse amounts of trees every now and then. Alright, cool. So, the mud bricks are here. We can build that silo now. So, I think it's coming together nicely. Just a quaint little village, little farming village. Nothing too crazy. We're looking good nonetheless, I think. So how are you to the market? Yeah, you're totally fine. Great. And they have their goat's milk, just to make sure that the goat's milk is, yep, totally more than enough. And they have their teff grass now as well, I'm assuming. It's on the island already, so teff is exploding across the place, which is great. Uh, and your job is now going to be to deliver this clay into Tavarine. That's your whole job. What is your purpose? You deliver clay. Uh, that's the wrong island. It's this one. Clay supplier. Now, in theory, you could just get clay actually from the old world or something, I guess, but whatever. Alright, who's the one doing it? Tabarim Express. Let's go with ships that are in Embesa right now. The Wobbly Grieb 2. So, clay supply. And if any of these other ones end up making clay, then we'll just collect it all in one ship. So it future proofs us. 
Alright, so there we go. So he's going to pick up its first batch. Now these ships, I all like to have them gold-plated, because it's in Besa. That's where we made all our money with pocket watches early on in the game. But there you go, you got your first batch of clay, and you're out of here. That's going to go over to Tabarim again. So something we'll have to set up now is the what comes out of Tabarim and goes towards the old world. So I'm going to get rid of these this thing. This doesn't need to be there. So that's our new set of routes. Quite clean, quite simple. And then we have Embesa to old world. So Tef and Scripts is heading out. And there is a regular ship on that. So I'm going to pause that ship. And we have oil. That's fair enough. And then chilies. We're also going to pause that ship. It's actually just coming in now. Interestingly, because we can put the reefers on it. So I need to look at, well, it's easy to see, knowing that that's what we had doing doing it, right? Scripts, just to, for my own sanity as well, I'm just going to write it down. Scripts, Tef, and Chili's. Pretty easy to remember, but just in case, in case I get distracted by something, then look back. So scripts, manuscripts, that is, uh, Tef, and Chili. Now, just to check that route, where is it going? Port of Anus. Oh, so that's going to the New World. Interesting. And this was going to Marbella in the New World as well. Oh, sorry, this is Embasin New World. Ah, that makes sense. It wasn't even to the Old World. Embasin Delicacies isn't going anywhere. Exports 1, 2, and Imports. Yeah, these need to be stopped. And then we have to put new things on these. So it would be nice to set up Exports 2 and 3 again with reefer ships. And see where they're going. Holy crap. Yeah, this can be definitely improved and simplified. So we'll just pause all of this. Pause that route. Those ships will eventually stop on the edge of a session somewhere. And we can um, take them off and kind of redo these. Cool. So that's going to be good to find out how that's what's needed, I guess, in Lusk. And in the old world. So do they need just a little few more people? How are they doing? So they're at 6 out of 20. So that's going to be... The initial three plus three, so they're not going to get more than that. They do have lifestyle needs now as well. Canned food, hot sauce, jam, Wanza Timber. Interesting. Wanza Timber. Yeah, open that up. It gives you one extra person. Ultimately, I'd like to fix all of this and give them everything they need. Um, yeah, you could get some local Wanza Timber. It makes sense to have it, so let's go. I'm just trying to think, should we... Mm, pop it. We fix the road, I guess. Pop it right down there. Yeah, I guess you don't need to, actually. It'll grow here just fine. I love the idea of a little local village like this. So cute. Um, we've got a little bit of extra space to put something down, too. Some grass. Some grass might not be nice. Might might be nice. Papa, what are those in the water? Although it's quite tall and wild, but... The juniper tree as well. Alright, a way camp, and then we've got a little temple thingy. A shrine. Alright, people can pray for a good deal. And... Post up shop while they're waiting to get their, while they're waiting in line or whatever. I don't know. Uh, okay, so maybe some trees around the back and that'll be it for this place. Can't fit them. Uh, maybe we could just get some of these. Can look a little strange. Maybe some sand as well. That you can do about it being on a grid. I wonder if they're going to improve that for the next Nano game. I'd be curious if they do try to. Alright, cool. Looking good. We're almost, almost balanced for the workforce. Obviously, this is going to take a few extra now as well. 15, so... If we could just open up the finery, and that's going to get delivered here automatically as well, isn't it? Have we told them to do that? Finery supply? Nope. They haven't been told to deliver here, but we'll tell them to do it. That's a nice roundabout route as well. Good. Uh, so, in order to get them to have their finery, we do need to add in just a couple extra houses then. So we can just stick a couple down here. Should have more than plenty to get the ball rolling. Just 
just rotate that around as, as well. There we go. Maybe a little fence. Separate the coast from here. And then this could be... Oh, yeah, it's already um, rotated correctly. Good. And, yeah, I suppose the last thing then would just be adding something in here. Maybe even just sand. A little road to cut in there just to make it even. And sand. Uh, some barrels, perhaps. Around the back. Well, people don't mind me doing this stuff on camera and not in time lapses. I I'm enjoying it. I think people like seeing me build. <laughs> so, hopefully it's good. Alright, the planting is in progress. It's just about done now. If we just speed up. There we go. I guess they don't need many trees. Alright, so that's three clay supply uh, clay buildings now supplying this little village and the ship coming by and we should be getting our finery and everything and that should grow the population even more than we need it. They should go up to 150 in just a second. They're one away. There we go. So now the finery's here already. It'll grow nicely. Have a little excess population for other things in the future. Alright, cool. So that's the clay supplier done. This island that we set up, Indiegogo, which isn't actually doing Indigo anymore. I don't know what it's going to do, but we could specialize it in Teff or something like that. Uh, so now, as we're getting kind of close to the end of the episode, we've sorted out Tabarine pretty much. The industry's back online here. No, None of these buildings are offline that should be, except this one. Clay has arrived again, so you guys can get back on that. We have an excess of population. We've got excess goods just sitting here. I think we've done well. So I'm happy about all that. So yeah, it's really just going to be coming down to now, let's set up some deliveries. So if we go to, I suppose swords is ultimately where these things are needed in a lot of places. And we figure out what do they actually need in terms of in basin goods. So if we do, cons see the problem is it's not always consumer goods. We kind of just need to check everything. To get sick. I'll go all the way to the bottom because that's where it seems to be. So they need, I'm just writing this down now. So they're going to need, uh, beeswax actually you know what instead of even doing this i will just literally oh no it is only four goods right it's just these oh no there's, there is more i'll write it down then it's just easier so beeswax lobster uh they need hibiscus petals they need beef is that called in besson sanga cow so sanga cow sanga all right, they need ones of timber. Now, these are all needed in the department stores and things, I think. Uh, maybe some of the restaurants, things like that. So then what do we have? We've got the clay pipes. Obviously, the scholars need things as well. So clay pipes. So I'll just draw a line out of that. Telephones. That's fine. Tapestries. Yeah, there's a. <laughs> there's going to be a lot coming from uh, the old world. Or from Mimesa. So seafood stew. And that's needed in a large quantity, actually. So seafood stew and hibiscus tea. All right, I think that's basically it then. That looks like it's it from Mbesa. So the interesting thing with this now is the amounts. So one, two, one, two, one, you know, very low amounts. But then when you get up here, it's a lot more. So I'm just gonna put a little asterisk next to the clay pipes the tapestries are insane. We need 15 tapestries. Let me just put a little... So that obviously needs its own... So that's 15 per minute. And a ship of 300 per minute, you know... I think we'll need two ships on the go to co constantly supply this place. So I'll say that's 15 per minute. The seafood stew is 7. The hibiscus tea is 8. So they can do with one ship each, I think. And then the others can maybe share just a little bit. So let's try that. See how that all works out. Sorry for keep staying on that screen for so long, but has to be done. Now we're going to go stay in this screen for a while. So, Embesa. Create a trade route. Trade route from... Now, ultimately, we, dro we drop everything at Lusk. And that's very intentional. It's so that we mitigate the amount of time we're spending traveling through the actual water in the session. Unfortunately, in the old world here, Lusk is here. This is our hub island. And we'll be coming in from the edge, and they kind of travel up for a long time. Not much we can do about that, though. We'll just have to leave it. You could drop everything into Malahide and have two hub islands, I guess. That way your reapers are really only on the very edge the whole time. But I'm okay with that distance. That, that's okay. 
Uh, but it's, it's a possibility. Anyway. So we'll call this Embesa to Old World. So we'll... S I suppose we'll start in Embesa. Click Tabarim. That's our hub island for here. And let's do a whole ship doing just tapestries. So let's go to tapestries. And just max that out. I do think this will actually really need two ships. So we'll put two ships on this route. So the Snapdragon 3. And the Ardent Squib. So two reefers. Tapestry export. Uh, I'll call it export. Tapestries. Okay. And they're going just to Lusk. So let them set off. Unload the goods. That's it. Two ships doing that. Done. Now that's just to get to Lusk. It's not even to get the swords. They need other ships to do that. So we're doubling up on ships, I guess. But it's kind of to be more efficient with the time traveling. Um, and this is a shorter distance anyway. So that might only need one ship then. Possibly. Uh, okay, so that's exports tapestries. Next route. Trade route between Embesa, Tabarim, Old World, Lusk. And this time we're going to now be picking up seafood stew. Which again needs... It's... Well, actually... No, this just needs one ship. Yeah, that's fine. Seafood stew, just have one ship. The Resurrection. Embesa to Old World. Export stew. All right, let's do this another couple of times here. Got a lot of routes to make. Alrighty, so, Embesa, Tabarim, Ship, the Sovereign. We now need Hibiscus Tea. There it is. Max it out, send it to Lusk. Unload. Set it to Embesa Old World, call it Export Hibiscus Tea. Okay, so that's the main ones done, the ones that are like, that had a lot. The other ones can be maybe divided. So there's six other goods. Beeswax, lobsters, hibiscus petals, sanga beef, wands of timber, and clay pipes. So they can be divided onto two ships, I think. So two slots each, because they were quite low, the amounts that they needed. So trade routes, again, we'll start with Embesa, Tabarine. Load of goods. So we're going to load up beeswax, which I think is an intermediate. No, it's an agricultural product. Uh, load it into two slots. Then we're going to go with lobster. Load that into two slots. And then hibiscus petals, which we can load into two slots. Okay. Assign a ship. Get to the old world get to Lusk and remember Lusk has this massive Docklands where we can really figure all that stuff out can we drag this no. you can drag it but you can't bring it around I don't think to the edge here no unfortunately not we'll just keep it down at the edge then all right cool uh, so again exports so the other one was called export this will be called exports so we can see that's doing multiple uh, so that's wax Lob. Petal. <laughs> Alright, general one. Alright, one last one to do. And then we're done. And we can take the other ships off these routes. So, again, final one. Embesa, create a route. Trade route. Embesa. Tabarine. So, we've got to load up now Sanga Beef. Onto two slots. One's a timber. Two slots. And clay pipes. Two slots as well. Not much of those at the moment, a but I think that's because we had no clay. Securing their expertise. Exports. General two. And that's just going to go straight to Lusk as well. That's that. Alright, so if we just look over this now. Embesa to Old World. So we have exporting hibiscus tea on its own ship. Stew on its own ship. Tapestries on two ships. Exports one, two, imports. Those are the old routes. Don't have to worry about those, right? Is that? Am I wrong with that? Did I put these in the wrong thing? Oh, I put them in just Embesa. Exports general too. That's in base to old world. My bad. 
And the other one I forgot to actually give a thing. Yep. Alright, no big deal. So again, just look at it again. So, exporting hibiscus tea on one ship, stew on one ship, tapestries, two ships are making the route, and then the general one and two route, that are doing three goods each, two slots each, uh, are one ship each as well. So that's totally fine. So we can actually get rid of all these other ones now. Uh, not the imports, but we'll kill that route. Kill that route. And kill this route. And there we go. So that's massively refined, I think. We don't have to change much here in the old world, in terms of what's supplying Lusk just now, but we could do in the future. So that was a really big trade overall. I think it was relatively efficient doing it, though. It was to pat myself on the back. So you're doing tapestries. I don't have any ideas what we should call these things. <laughs> I want to name all my ships eventually to have like on-brand company names. I like these things like uh, Tabarim Express or whatever. So yeah, you just transfer everything back in or just throw it overboard if you can't, because you're done now. You're done as well. Done. All right, and you've actually got a, a propeller on you. I've queued up a few of those propellers in the Institute as well, so we can start putting them on these ships again in the future. Chilies. Let's see if we can get rid of those. Tef for life is coming in as well. Let's get that down here. Actually, we can just let this play now. This is the the ones that are going to New World. Actually, we still have the New World ones to do. God damn. Right, drop your stuff. Spice export. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do the New World ones, and then we can call it a day. So, in base it to New World, we had three different goods, so it's not too complicated actually. And where were they going? They were heading to Puerto Benus, which is on the edge. They can now go to Manola, really. Although, again, they'd have to cross a significant amount of territory doing that. I guess actually maybe Puerto Benus might be better. I don't know. They'd have to go all the way up here to do that, which is a bit of a shame. Whereas you could just drop it somewhere much closer and then get out again, which I think I'd prefer they do. Although that being said, they also have to travel quite far in from here. So maybe it should just be cargo ships for this one. I think so. All right, so we'll do cargo ships. So let's see what's actually where it's needed in the new world. So again, to write these down, because that does help me a lot. It's scripts, Tefgra, so scripts, Tef, and Spice. So I'll see what's required in the new world right or yeah in the new world right now for those three things let's just uh, give Benji the cotton again she still just needs 50 let's give her another 50 I don't know if that's really going to change anything but I'm just hoping eventually she'll have a ship roll out of here but she just still hasn't I feel like she's just going to be stuck on this island forever her riots have gone away though which oh no they're back oh I did notice between episodes they had gone away but she has them again why are the people rioting Benji what do they need just tell me what they need and I'll help you out. Oh, do tell of your adventures. Sewing machines, schnapps, coffee. Let's get another one of these big ships. Right, so, she needed coffee. Which isn't on this island anymore. Oh no, it is. And sewing machines, can we give her a little sewing machine? get over there with them. Might chill people out for a bit. I know it doesn't really matter, but I'm kind of mini role-playing trying to help her. Alright, anyway, back here. What's that ship doing? Lobster supply. Tef and scripts. Should I be cancelling this? Yeah. And the spice ship is cancelled as well. Okay, cool. So, anyway, back to the new world. We can check now in the statistics screen what's exactly needed from those uh, goods that are coming from Mbesa. So we'll select all the islands here in the new world, just for now. Just make it easy, and then we'll just have a look at everything. Scroll all the way down and say, okay, there we go. So it's one ton per minute for scripts. It's four for Tef, and for Spice. I'm actually not seeing it. Maybe it's offline now. I'm guessing it's a lifestyle need for someone. So we could quickly check that, or is it needed for hot sauce? I don't think so. Uh, actually, it might be, thinking about it. So they don't need it here regularly. They don't have it as a lifestyle. What about regular 
artistas. No. But I'm guessing the Hacienda artistas, which are these guys. Do they even need for hot sauce? They actually don't. So they're good. And did I have any Hacienda... Why survive when we can thrive? Obreros. So they need tapestries as well. Or illuminated scripts, actually. Sorry. Yeah, let's turn that on, actually. Let them consume it. And see if we can deliver it. They have everything else they need. Man, I'm struggling to remember what hot sauce is used for. Or where it's made. I know it's a Hacienda thing. I, I remember that. So our Hacienda is... here. Let me just fill the Yornalura house and just check. So they need hot sauce. And then hot sauce... Oh my god, I have no idea. It's so funny, like, I just do not remember how to navigate these menus now. Like, where do I find hot sauce? I have no idea. <laughs> So this is the Yornalero screen. That's a Yornalero, although it is a Hacienda Yornalero. So I need the brewery, isn't it, for it? I think. They don't need us. Hola. Brewery catalog. Hot sauce recipe. Just chilies. Okay. So they do need that. But I don't think anything, nothing consumes it right now because we don't have any Hacienda Yornaleros and we removed them all from the other islands. So technically I don't need to bring spices up here, but it's good to just know that for future. But they do need now more of those scripts. So let's see how much is needed now. So if I just go New World. Still just one per minute, even with all that online. Hmm. Where can we hit multiple islands now then? Lifestyle. Let's turn on the lifestyle. So it's needed. Is it procession? Because they need it actually on this island. Let's check this one. I'm glad. At least. They actually have it. Okay, that's good. So it obviously, yeah, fair enough. Down here, there is some obreros, but not many. But we don't mind hitting them with some stuff if they need it as well. You can open that up for them. So that should be every island uh, is now consuming. At least Obreros are consuming what they need. Let's just check then Yonlera's lifestyle. If it's anything from Mbesa. Be uh, Tef. Yep, more Tef grass. That's fine. Lifestyle for Obreras. Yep, that's okay. And then the Artistas. Lifestyle. They need lanterns from Mbesa. Okay, so that just lets me kind of get a better handle on can we ship these things up here now. So that's everything from Mbesa with the current Mbesa we have. Let's see what we can do. So the lanterns would be an interesting one. They need four. So I'm just writing that down. Lanterns, four. So Tefgrass is now at five. Spice is non-existent anymore. And then Scripts. Illuminated Manuscript is at two. So it's come up a bit. All right, cool. So it kind of helps me figure things out. So I could have scripts on two slots, lanterns on four slots, on a um, on a ship, sorry. And then Tef could be its own ship. Yeah, that would work, I think. So let's try that. Now, the only thing to check against, the very last thing, is checking against all this in the New World. We also need to turn on the Embasin Islands just to see. Actually, we should just do everything. And see, do we produce enough? So the lanterns we produce right now is two. The extra four that we're consuming is obviously just not covered right now. So that's not happening. <laughs> Same with the illuminated scripts. We produce two, it's now consuming three. So they actually cannot be done th in this episode. But the Tef grass should be okay. So we can at least deliver that. Funnily enough, it's actually not. It's slightly low. So all of these things will need to be fixed. But that's what we could do. So this island out here in the go-go we can make this for tef grass because it's got lots of space all irrigated ready to go um, and that could be one of the first things in terms of lifestyles that we can get done tef grass where are you that's linseed i know i can find it in here all right i've actually just realized the time of this episode so i think i might have to leave it there because we have to build these farms, lay them out, and then get the trade route going to the New Worlds with all that stuff. But I'm pretty happy with the progress. I mean, we got a lot done. We sorted out Tavarim. It's back to where it should be. 
it now just means that we have a little bit of a problem in the new world if we want to hit the lifestyle needs, these optional needs of delivering some of the embasin goods, we're going to struggle. So what we'll need to do, ultimately, is quite kind of exciting, anyway, I find it exciting, is improving the amount of manuscripts we make by building more luminaries. We've only got one, so we'll have to make another one. The luminaries take indigo and paper. We've got loads of islands to do all this now, so this shouldn't really be a problem with space. We can totally do it. It's just a matter of time. So that's one thing. The next one would be the lanterns. So just to check how they're made. So we need candles, which we've loads of, and then lantern smiths. So maybe we could get, um, we do have a town hall here, or trade union, I should say. Could maybe trade union these guys. We've got room on the island over here to build maybe like stronger lanterns. And they need cotton and sand. Yeah. All right. So I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Basically figuring out how we can up the production of these like late game items and then send them in to get lifestyle. That's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm going to have fun with that. All right. So I'll take um, more stock in between episodes of what can be made and what can be moved around. If we have a look now just really quickly at the Arctic, these guys are still struggling quite a lot. Uh, hmm, I am surprised by that. They do have some pemmican, but they're obviously just barely holding on to it. These guys have 250. None of it's been thrown overboard. And they've got a limit of 300 that you can't take away from them. So we're at the we're in the negative, badly. So what's happened? You're out of oil lamps, so... So we have three oil lamp factories. And we've plenty... That's not an oil lamp factory. There they are. We're in the ah, brass. Okay, it's just problems, problems, problems. But yeah, I'm just going to write that down because I will forget. Big all caps. Brass dash arctic exclamation mark. <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's going to have to be it for this episode. I'm really enjoying the game. I'm just going to be recording pretty often now. So these episodes should resume a lot quicker during the week. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Hope everyone's doing well out there. I'm having a blast. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Consider liking it if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and if you want to support even further, consider becoming a channel member. Channel members get early access to my videos ad-free, and also access to my Discord, where we've just set up a new Valheim and Satisfactory server for people to play on. Hopefully we can grow a community and add more games and perks in the future. Either way, I appreciate people just watching this far into the video. Thank you.